So today I want to focus on some, something very specific, uh, and that is how can we work together to build a pipeline of tech workers for this new economy. Now, this doesn't just apply to San Francisco. This doesn't just apply to Boston. It applies across the board in every part of the country. Right now, America has more job openings than at any point since 2001. So think of that, that that's good news. We got a lot of job openings. Here's the catch. Over half a million of those jobs are technology jobs. A lot of those jobs didn't even exist 10, 20 years ago. Now, we tend to think that all these tech jobs are in Silicon Valley, that companies like Google and eBay, or, or, or maybe in a few spots like Austin, Texas, where you, you've seen, a, you've seen a, a, a tech industry thrive. But the truth is, two-thirds of these jobs are in non-high-tech industries, like healthcare, or manufacturing, or banking, which means they're in every corner of the country. See, there's no industry that hasn't been touched by this technology revolution. And what's more, a lot of these jobs don't require a four-year degree in computer science. They don't require you be an engineer. Folks can get the skills they need for these jobs in newer, streamlined, faster training programs. What's more, these tech jobs pay 50% more than the average private sector wage. We've got just this incredible set of opportunities, but we've got to have the workers for us to take advantage of it. So today I'm announcing a new initiative that we're calling Tech Hire. Tech Hire. And it's going to be driven by leaders like you. So there are three big components to this. First, we already have over 20 cities, states, and rural communities, from Louisville to Delaware, who've signed on to fill tech openings. They've already got more than 120,000 of them in bold new ways. Let me give you an example. Employers tend to recruit people with technology degrees from four-year colleges, and that means sometimes they end up screening out good candidates who don't necessarily have traditional qualifications. They may have uh, learned at a community college, or they may have served in our military. They've got the talent, but employers are missing them. So tech hire communities are going to help employers link up and find and hire folks based on their actual skills and not just their resumes. It, because it turns out it doesn't matter where you learned code, it just matters how good you are in writing code. If you can do the job, you should get the job. And while four-year degrees in engineering and computer science are still important, we have the opportunity to promote programs that we call, for example, coding boot camp or online courses that have pioneered new ways to teach tech skills in a fraction of the time and the cost. And these new models have the potential to reach underserved communities, to reach women who are still underrepresented in this sector, and minorities who are still underrepresented in this sector, and veterans who we know can do the job, and lower income workers who might have the opt aptitude for tech jobs, but they don't know that these jobs are within reach. Understand, within the tech sector, there are going to be tiers of jobs, all of which are tech, but they're not all the same. Right? They're, they're, they're still going to be the place. We still have to produce more engineers and advanced degrees in computer science at the upper tier, but there's all kinds of stuff that's being done within companies at different sectors that can create great careers for a lot of people. And so what Tech Hire is going to do is to help local leaders connect the job openings to the training programs to the jobs. 
And if you're not already involved in this, you've got to get involved. Because your community needs this just like everybody else does.